Hey, welcome to another episode of Daily IoT. It's going to be a short one because I can't get this freaking thing to work. I was reading The Art of Electronics, came across a really cool circuit, an RC uh, resistor capacitor network that creates a simple timer where when you push a button, that guy right there, it'll turn on an LED for approximately one minute and then turn it back off. The problem is that this requires a voltage comparator, which I did have but doesn't seem to be working. I've used the meter to probe all around this thing and I think all the voltages are working, but the circuit just, it's not working. So I ordered some parts on Mauser. Hopefully they'll be here, I don't know, maybe end of week. And uh, cause I was really excited to talk about this, but I can't talk about it cause it doesn't work. So that's where we're at. One little tidbit of learning, if you want to have a takeaway from this, is something that I knew but had forgotten, which caused me more angst and frustration, is that on these breadboards, these long breadboards, the power rails, the, the, terminal, um, the terminals that go across the top here, don't always connect all the way across the top. So the terminals here are not electrically connected to the terminals across the top here. Some of these long ones, they do connect all the way. Um, I should have known because there's a little break, which is often the indicator that they don't connect and I was connecting things across them ground and power and things and that was not working so I finally remembered that and fixed that by putting these jumpers across to connect the two so anyway just tip on these long breadboards make sure that you've connected the strips all the way across if you're going to use the power strips so that's a takeaway um, and other you know better news I got the wiring finished on the scooter project. Um, I've got five volts up in the steering column and I've popped that out through the headlight assembly as well as the control wires for the LED strips. I also ran power down to the deck where I'm gonna connect the LED strips. And so all the five volt power seems to be connected and working. I test drove it, I didn't break anything. So now it's just a matter of, I think we're gonna move inside with the LED strip to do some testing to get everything working and then we'll go back out and hook it all up. So that's you know, the positive takeaway from today. Um, but I'm really bummed out about this. I was excited to talk about it. But uh, that's the case sometimes in electronics. It doesn't always work. And uh, you just gotta push through and, and keep trying. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. And so that's it. That's the show for today. Appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together, sometimes we can't figure out how to make the internet of things. See you tomorrow.